all right guys in this video we are going to talk about the fx console plugin so what is fx console plugin by using fx console you can easily add effects to layers inside after effects you know that when we are working inside adobe after effects you have to apply effects but uh, normally what we do is uh, we got the effect and preset panel and we uh, select the layer and we type the like uh, the effect name let's say we want to add fractal uh, noise so we get the effect and we double click on that and effect is applied to that layer so that is the standard method but uh, it takes a lot of time and with this uh, video compiler invented this uh, FX console plugin and he offered the Andrew Kramer the god of After Effects uh, offered this plugin for free so once you install this plugin you once you press the uh, control and a space button on your keyboard it will pop up uh, a window like this and you can type uh, fractal noise here and you can hit enter so we don't have to go to the effect and preset panel anymore we can add apply effect to our layers within the timeline panel so that can save a lot of time but wait there are some more additional features in this uh, uh, FX console uh, plugin and this is a free plugin so in this video I'm going to explain every single feature inside this uh, plugin and how you can use these things like shortcuts, uh, aliases and override options, favorite options and here we can see blacklist option. So there are so many features other than applying effects to your layer. So in this video we are going to discuss every single feature. So if you haven't installed this uh, FX console, I have put the link to this uh, page uh, video copilot. You can download this, uh, you don't have to pay anything. Uh, it's a free version uh, you can download the file once you download the file you will get uh, installation file like this and you can double click on this and uh, in installation process is uh, pretty easy you have to hit next 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 and that will install this plugin to your after effects uh, software so once you finish the installation uh, and when you open the after effects and when you press control and space button you will get uh, interface like this uh, of course uh, if you want to apply an effect to a layer you have to select the layer and then press the control and space it will pop up the, this uh, window and you can uh, type here letters and it will pop up the effect you have to just enter that it will easily apply uh, the effect to layer as like this right so so what are the additional features in this uh, FX console so when you uh, press this uh, control space button you can see the screenshot here and here you can see a gallery option here you can see uh, export and here you can see uh, settings and this icon is uh, video copilot it uh, will direct you to video copilot website so first uh, let's talk about this uh, export option let's say you have uh, designed the title for your project and you want to get some feedback from the client instead of uh, getting in scr screenshots from any other software you can use this option like uh, export and once you click on that you can uh, copy this uh, to your clipboard and paste that into photoshop if you want to uh, see some design changes in uh, there or you can save this as a simple png file you can uh, select uh, the location where you want to uh, save this and you can put a name like uh, test one and you can save that save this uh, as a png file or you can save it as a jpg file too right so you can export and that is how we use the export option by that way we can email this to a client and we can get the feedback for the work the next option uh, is a gallery option right so i'll talk about the screenshot so let's say uh, you have to uh, compare whether we use uh, this color or uh, something else so i press the control space and i take uh, one screenshot here by pressing this and once you open the gallery uh, you can see that screenshot inside your gallery and uh, I close this and uh, now I come to the composition panel and I change this uh, font color to uh, let's say red and I take uh, another screenshot by pressing this uh, camera icon and uh, I take I change this color to green again uh, something like this so I didn't select the layer select the layer and change that color to like let's say uh, this color right and i press the control and the space and i take another screenshot and i select the layer and uh, change the color to something like this 
and I take an, another screenshot right so now I took uh, four screenshots with uh, different colors inside the uh, about this uh, main uh, title color now I press the control space and I open the gallery so once you open the gallery you can see all the screenshots uh, you have took so far the this one is the latest one uh, that we took so we can uh, go back and we can compare what is the color so once you collect select uh, one screenshot and then press and hold the shift key and select the other four screenshots by that way you can compare these uh, four screenshots in this uh, window like see so you can see all the four screenshots and uh, you can get an idea about uh, what is the best color maybe you can send this to a color and you can get and feedback from the color uh, from from your uh, client uh, so uh, they can decide what is the best uh, color for their work right so also you can uh, delete these uh, things as well so you can export this uh, as a png file or jpg file uh, that's a pretty uh, easy process and that's how you use the gallery feature inside this effects console let's go back to the settings option once you click on this uh, wheel icon it will open the effects console settings you can see there are so many settings and we can take a lot of uh, advantages from these settings so first one is uh, user interface color uh, the ui color the default is dark if you don't like that you can make it light but i think uh, the dark one is uh, good for eyes so default shortcut for this uh, FX console is control space but if you don't like that you can change it to C uh, shift space and you can change it to control tab and you can change it to shift tab or you can select custom keyboard shortcut and uh, look at the message that Andrew Kramer is uh, saying that not some shortcuts may conflict with your life right so that's a good advice to remember if you want to change it to a custom uh, keyboard shortcut you can change it to here but i think uh, control space is the default one that's uh, pretty easy and i know that a lot of uh, motion designers use this uh, option next one is uh, save location you can choose the where you want to save the captured screenshots so normally uh, when you take a screenshot it will uh, save to your documents and here you can see video copilot fx console capture so this is the place default location where it save this uh, screenshots right so you can uh, see the screenshots but if you want to change that location you can change this uh, save location if you want to change the thumbnail crash you can use this option and uh, normally when you take a screenshot uh, it take the screenshot with the current resolution by turning on this uh, full resolution screenshot uh, it will always take the uh, full resolution screen set screenshot the next one is uh, reset setting and if you want to change these settings to a uh, default you can reset the settings and if you want uh, these uh, your custom uh, effect console shortcuts and aliases to uh, some other uh, computer you can use this uh, export look at that they have their own uh, effects console settings files you can uh, save this to another computer and you can import that settings on another computer by that way you can get the same exact uh, fx console settings to that computer so let's uh, talk about the shortcut option so when you click on this uh, control space uh, once you select a layer control space you see that uh, one two three some labels and uh, some things these things we call the shortcuts we can completely customize these things and we, if you if you don't like these things we can remove these things so press the uh, select the layer and press control space and you can type number five here and press uh, by that way we can add that uh, shortcut effect easily we don't have to type the fractal noise just type the number five so how to configure that so go to the settings like here and here you can see shortcuts you can add up to nine shortcuts right so in order to add the shortcut let's say i have currently had uh, five shortcuts let's say i want to add another one so let's say i want to add you can add effect or preset let's say i want to add the bullet train effect as my shortcut so i search the bullet train effect pre sorry preset here and uh, you can see now we uh, added bullet train as a shortcut we can change the label but i think uh, this is uh, convenient and the shortcut number is number six so once you click ok uh, select that text layer and once you press control uh, space and press number six 
that will add the bullet uh, train uh, effect to that layer pretty easily you don't even have to type the bullet train so we can play that you can see we easily added that effect so let's say number six let's say that's pretty easy that's how you use the uh, keyboard shortcuts inside this uh, FX console right so you can uh, add up to nine uh, shortcuts I noticed that uh, Andrew Kramer said that uh, they have uh, because they have included nine keyboard shortcuts because uh, that's a single number but uh, they have a premium version of this uh, FX console and it is cost uh, sixty thousand dollars which is comes with uh, 10 keyboard shortcuts so if you like that uh, you can go for that I don't know but Andrew Kramer said that right so you can see the label you can also change the label and what is the blacklist option let's take a look at that option so currently I have one uh, blacklist option I delete that so I click OK so blacklist mean uh, when you select a layer and uh, let's say uh, your company decided we are not going to use uh, fractal noise of effect let's say we type the fractal we get this uh, fractal effect and fractal noise but uh, you guys decided we never use this uh, fractal effect so you can right click here and you can blacklist that effect so once you blacklist that effect it does not appear in this list even though if you type the fractal uh, right like this it will uh, go to the blacklist uh, things so here you can see uh, we have now blacklisted the fractal no that's a pretty smart idea blacklisting effects uh, things that we don't uh, even use you can even blacklist uh, presets too right so if you want to uh, make list whitelist you can just uh, delete that that's how you blacklist uh, effects inside this uh, FX console so the next one is uh, favorite right so what is uh, favorite let's talk about that so I want to uh, select a layer and I type fractal now uh, fractal is coming uh, first I, I want uh, to come uh, fractal noise first so when I right click here and add to favorite now uh, the fractal noise effect is comes first when I type fractal right so that is my favorite and let's say I type the bullet train so I like uh, bullet train as uh, my favorite uh, preset and when I right click it and add to uh, favorite once you add that favorite uh, it comes uh, in the first when you type bullet train it comes uh, at the top of the list by that way we can easily get that effect that's how we use the favorite feature by making an effect of favorite we can easily get that effect uh, on the top of the list that's why we use this uh, favorite uh, option so let's uh, talk about the uh, alias effect let's say I want to uh, when I type uh, let's say uh, when I type uh, CC I want to come up the gradient ramp effect right let's say I click OK now I uh, added as uh, let's say we type the mm right so when I type mm I want to come up the gradient ramp effect right so now I click OK and I select the layer and I type mm you can see now gradient ramp effect come up and I can press enter right so that's how we use the alias features but you can assign an alias to any uh, your any of your favorite effect by that way you don't have to type the complete name of the effect you can type that uh, alias thing and you can get the effect uh, pretty easily so what is the overwrite option that's a pretty cool option uh, by overriding uh, we can say you know that uh, when you type the gradient ramp effect normally the default color is uh, black and white right so for example these are the default settings you can uh, you want to use uh, the default as like red and uh, blue so not red and green so I want when I when I enter the gradient ramp effect I want uh, to these settings comes with the default so what we can do is uh, we change the settings we can change any other settings and we can save this as a preset once you uh, add that you can right click here uh, no sorry you can go to the effect and preset panel and you can save as a preset sorry create new animation preset and here you can see so the location is uh, 
So, so here's the thing uh, you can save your presets on your documents and here you can see Adobe folder and here After Effects CC uh, user presets and here I type the uh, custom gradient custom ramp right so I save this as a preset so, and uh, now I uh, go to the settings I go to the settings and here gradient ramp here I uh, new overwrite as I type uh, I search the custom custom ramp this is the preset that we just created right so now we added that as a uh, override so what is happening is when I apply the gradient ramp uh, what is after effects is doing is adding the custom ramp of pre, uh, effect preset that we just created okay guys uh, those are the features inside this uh, effects console not only uh, you can use this uh, effects console to add the effects uh, very easily uh, now I explained some additional features that you can use and uh, by using these methods uh, I think uh, you can speed up the your workflow and you can save a lot of time if you are a daily After Effects user. So huge uh, thanks to Andrew Kramer from Video Copilot by offering this uh, free plugin. So we do a lot of tutorials in our channel related to After Effects and a lot of video post-production things. So if you like our work, uh, please subscribe to our channel and it will encourage us to do more videos. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be back with the next uh, video. Thanks.